What up? Let's get to it. It's the Warriors music! It's the Ultimate Warrior! It is! Look at that! The Ultimate Warrior! What is he doing? Is he going to attack Hogan? What is going on here? Close line! So now we kind of see clear, right? After seeing the Vikings go up against a team with a solid secondary, very solid secondary, right? Physical, fast, aggressive, good coverage skills, huh? Dirty as well. <laughs> Let's not forget Sean Payton and some of his Broncos are very dirty players, baby, hands down, man, down. But with that being said, it's clear as evident that the Minnesota Vikings need Justin Jefferson heavy. We saw it clear. Once again, Sunday night. Now, am I saying he needs to rush his return? No. No need to rush back. Then the same injury reoccur. No need for none of that. But at the end of the day, if the Vikings want to make a real playoff run, playoff push, we saw Sunday night and even uh, numerous games in his absence, right? Second half collapses, etc. that Justin Jefferson will be needed in order for the Vikings to make a real, real playoff push Playoff run heavy, man. Because when it comes down to it, sometimes the Vikings become one-dimensional. They need Jettas to be able to stretch the field. Not only that, but to open up opportunities for other receivers. Because let's just be real, Sunday night, people was on lock. Heavy, no disrespect, but them boys was on lock majority of the game. Now you can argue, oh, maybe Dobbs should have took more chances down Field, but the eye test, watching the game, you saw people were in clamps. The Denver Broncos secondary did a great job overall defense. Got to tip your hat to them. Much respect, period. Hands down, man down. So, yes, Justin Jefferson is needed. He is missed, dog. He brings a whole new, different dynamic to the offense, right? He gives Joshua Dodd more opportunities. He's a weapon. He takes away, you know, extra coverage on Jordan Addison and KJ Osborne, who were very quiet, very quiet. Even TJ Hawkinson was very quiet. He even dropped a few passes. Yeah, you can argue and say uh, some balls were high, out of reach. But at the end of the day, you get your hand on it, you got to get it, man. Period. Everybody have things they can work on and improve on. But the Rob receiver core was on lock on clamps, majority of the game, dog. I test stats all of the above, man. It says it, period. They couldn't get open. They weren't getting open. Heavy. I don't care who the quarterback is or who the quarterback would have been back there. <laughs> Your receivers don't give you a body to throw to. They don't get open. They don't make catches. It is what it is. Now, shout out Brandon Powell. You know, he's been filling in great, doing his job, performing his, performing well, but only he can do so much. Right? Jordan Addison, great rookie year, man. Great performance. The best rookie receiving in the NFL, but only he, it comes to a certain point in time. Defenses will start double coverage in him, forcing Osborne to get open, forcing Powell to get open, right? And as we saw versus the Broncos, a true legitimate secondary, which you will face all through the playoffs, they can stop the Vikings offense, period. Now, KOC needs to do a better job of being aggressive, dialing different plays up. Majority goes on him, period. I'm going to stand on that bottom line. Put your players in the best position to win, but at the same time, your players got to get open, man. So it's very evident Justin Jefferson is needed on his offense for it to flourish and reach his full potential. Now, we've seen the offense score or put up points. They've done a great job in his absence, but it's going to come a point in time where it all stops. You understand? It's going to come a point in time where it's difficult to Move the ball down the field, gain yardage without Jettis. He's just too much of a weapon. He's the best receiver in the NFL. Of course, man, teams will figure it out. Right? Teams will start incorporating certain schemes, man. Defensive schemes, all that. To stop J.A., take away Jordan Addison, huh? Then you got to rely on K.J. Osborne, which he hasn't proved he can get open consistently week in, week out, dog. Let's just be real. He's not that number two. You know, Brandon Powell is who he is. He stepped up in certain times. But at the end of the day, in order for the offense to get where it needs to be, really be explosive, Jettas is needed, dog. Hands down, man down 1,000. That's it. Let's get into some of the stats, man. 
TJ Hawkinson, four receptions, 55 yards. Josh Oliver, four receptions, 47 yards, and a touchdown. <laughs> you dig me heavy. So the tight ends, you know, had the most catches, most uh, receiving yards. That could be a problem potentially. Jordan Addison, three receptions, 44 yards. Where was he at? Ty Chandler, four receptions, 37 yards. Understand? Brandon Powell, three receptions, 32 yards. Where was he at? KJ Osborne, one reception for seven yards. Man. Now you look at those stats, you look at the eye test, that's the problem when we saw that in the second half. Even though they ran the ball very well, you know, had some big catches at moments, but overall uh, performance of the offense was not good enough, man. They cannot continue that and expect to win games heavy. Period. Playoffs is a whole different animal, different story, man, different ball game. You will see all types of adjustments, huh? All types of coverages, dog. And once again, the Broncos have a legit, and I mean legit, secondary heavy. And they're playing good football right now, period. Can't take that away from them, even though that boy's safety, that safety, whoever he is, a dirty boy. Dirty team. You know, Sean Payton, that's what he does, though. That's what he promotes, not surprised. I counted three, I repeat, I counted three illegal hits. Period, bottom line. Okay, who want to talk about it, debate it or not, let's get it. So yeah, Jettas is missed. Hopefully he will return soon, in my opinion. Let him rest until after the bye week, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is, man. We will see what happens. But at the end of the day, it is now clear after that Broncos game, oh yes, Jettas return, man. Jettas must return heavy. Period, bottom line. So that's my take, my opinion on it. Let me know how you feel about the video. Feedback is much appreciated. Fire them comments up. Fire them comments up. Big score here, man. Score Vikes forever. 1,000. 1,000. <laughs> yeah.